Hey, hello, you wonderful and free spirit. This is Anton Benning with the Freedom Lifestyle. And today I wanted to have a chat about something that I was thinking about that Ray Kurzweil identified as the law of accelerating returns. And what does this mean exactly? Uh, the law of accelerating return in essence states something that Ray Kurzweil realized that around the 1980s, 1990s, or more or less the time when uh, internet came out, um, we shifted in our technological development. And this shift in our technological development went from linear progress to exponential progress. So let's have a little bit of an identification of what this means. What this means is that when you take 30 steps, so I tell you to take 30 steps. If you take 30 linear steps, then when you start walking now, you take 30 steps, you'll be more or less 30 meters away. 30 big steps, 30 meters away. When you take 30 exponential steps, you're at about 1 billion meters away. So you can encircle and walk around the planet several times when you take 30 exponential steps. Well, this is what it happened to our progress, especially our technological progress. And during this time, um, Ray Kurzweil calculated then that in the 20th century, we're going, or the 21st century, excuse me, the 20th century already passed. So the century that we are living in right now, we are going through about 20,000 years of technological progress, or we're going through about 20,000 years of growth. So how is that even fathomable? By the way, if you're interested in more of these kind of informations about what is happening in the world nowadays and what are the lessons uh, to gain from the universal laws, the universal intelligence, the workings of our mind, productivity, money, basically how we get from where we are to where we want to be, I suggest that you click on the subscribe button and I'll try to three times a week on Monday, Wednesday and Friday come out with like uh, the best and brightest that I've learned throughout the weeks and throughout the past decade that I've started on my journey of personal discovery and development. But let's continue on to where we are on topic today. This exponential progress that we are in the 21st century going through about 20,000 years of growth. How do we make this, that fathomable? How do we make that understandable? Well, when you think about it, let's say about 200 years ago is the first time we invented the bicycle. Yes, the bicycle. And that progress between the invention of the bicycle and our Apple iPhone or our humanoids today, that progress times 100 in the time span of 100 years. Or let's go even back a little bit further. Let's go back to, let's say, the start of the calendar of... I don't know what calendar you are on. I'm on the, 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 the calendar where we uh, uh, are in the year 2022 right now. So about 2000 years ago, regarding, uh, according to the Bible, this um, baby called Jesus Christ was born. So the development between the birth of this so this Jesus Christ and today that development times 10 in the time span of a hundred years so it is hard to imagine what exactly is happening now in the world and how fast 
progress is actually happening new things being invented every single day in the areas of all technological progress and all these technological aspects they grow up on each other and that is what makes it an exponential kind of growth when you think of robotics nanotech biotechnology infotechnology um, and all these other developments that are going on in our world nowadays we have to adapt ourselves to this progress we have to be in the moment still valuable to the market because when we look at the law of compensation and the first person that i know of that identified this law was earl nightingale and he stated that the law of compensation is that we earn or we are worth the exact amount in ratio to the need for what we do our ability to do it and the difficulty there is in replacing us so so many different jobs from truck drivers to order pickers to soon through drones packages being delivered all these jobs are going to disappear are already disappearing today through robots through softwares all these different jobs are not going to be done by us humans anymore so we have to reinvent ourselves to stay uh, valuable in the way of the need for what we're doing because that what we used to do is going to be done by all these technological advancements so the very most important skill that I have learned for the 21st century is our ability to learn to unlearn and to relearn we have to be able to learn because when new things pop up we have to be able to reinvent ourselves to matter and to work on those things that make us valuable that make us difficult to replace by in this case for example robots or other human beings but the harder it is for us to be replaced the more valuable we are to the marketplace so we have to be able to learn we have to be able to unlearn because if back in the days we uh, uh, earned our money for example as a programmer and we wrote code to create a website but nowadays it's a click on a button and the software builds the website and poof it's done then writing code in that aspect isn't valuable anymore so we'd have to unlearn that and relearn ourselves on a specific topic topic that would still be valuable in the world and with this exponential progress this exponential growth happening in the 21st century happening today it is essential that we learn how to um, how, how to keep how to stay valuable in the marketplace so that is the story that I wanted to give you today to think about how you and I can remain valuable and difficult to replace in the marketplace how do we remain our value how do we remain our salary how do we remain our income how do we remain of service towards other people towards the world in a way that we won't be replaced and I strongly believe that that, that almost all jobs that we know today are going to be obsolete in the coming decades so let us especially us people younger than 50 for example reinvent ourselves and start asking ourselves the question all right what is it that i can focus on either learning unlearning or relearning that will make me valuable in the marketplace 
By the way, if you're interested in a very simple step-by-step -step progress that will help you find and fulfill your deepest desire, because I believe once we realize what it is that we truly desire in life and we figure out what it is that we can do surrounding that desire, we're going to be able to create the most valuable version to ourselves in the marketplace. Because our most valuable asset is that which we can become strongest at. And that thing what we become strongest at is that thing that we have that true purpose, passion and desire for. So if you're interested in that, you can click on the link below and you can download a free template. And for now, I would like to wish you a very wonderful rest of your day. If there's any other questions that you've got, please leave it in the comments below and I'll have a look at it and maybe we'll address it in the near future. For now, have a wonderful day, live with love, live with passion. Namaste.